tell me honestly when did you read a newspaper the last time i'm sure it has been quite a long time and frankly even i don't remember when i read it the last time it's saddening but this is true and we can't help it but we can create this effect in our designs and today we are going to do that and turn this image into something like this hi guys i'm dd and welcome again to dexplorian where everything is all about designing in photoshop and sharing the process with you and along with that we explore various tools techniques and tips and tricks which will improve your workflow and level up your graphic design game in today's age of social media i feel the charm of newspapers have diluted to a great extent but i still remember my childhood days when we used to eagerly wait for the sunday newspapers which contained colorful comic section along with some games trivias uh then sudokus crosswords and so many things newspaper were our source of information as well as entertainment i know hearing this genzis will think what is he talking about but this was our childhood and believe me it was amazing i'm sure many of you will have the same memories and if so give me a high five in the comments and share your memories coming back to today's topic we're going to create the newspaper effect and the technique we are going to use is essentially using the blend tools in photoshop so let's quickly jump onto the screen we'll create the canvas of our choice i'll be going with the usual canvas size a4 and then bring in the image of the subject i'll be using this image you can choose whatever image you want but we have to keep in mind few things while choosing the image first this effect is best with portraits but it doesn't mean you can't use it for other images you have to check for the second requirement which is lighting in the image make sure the image is well lit at least most of the part in this case the face Shadows are important too otherwise the image will look flat but it should not cover a major part. And another thing the effect is best suited for front faced portraits with side faces it doesn't look as good as it should be. Rest is your choice. I've downloaded this image from a website called lumi.ai. This is an AI stock image website where you can get a vast collection of AI generated images from different AI creators. The images are extremely high quality and you can use it in whatever way you want. So give it a try. Now coming back to our canvas we have to remove the background of the image and it seems to be comparatively simple task and that's why I am going to skip this part to save some time but if you are interested in learning about the background removal process you can check out my dedicated playlist this is what we got i want only the face so we have to select the layer mask and then take the brush tool make the brush bigger by pressing the right square bracket key right click anywhere on the canvas to open the brush settings and select the soft round brush make sure the foreground color is black if it's not then press the x key to change it to black and we will paint on these areas to hide them behind the mask when needed make the brush smaller by pressing the left square bracket key you can also toggle between the foreground and background colors to hide and reveal I'm done and now we have to turn it into black and white and for that I will add a gradient map adjustment layer above it. Click here to open the gradient editor and do some adjustments with this slider. I have a detailed video on using the gradient map. If you are interested then you can find that on the channel and I'll also give the link in the description. Everything looks fine here and now I will clip this to the image layer so that it only affects the image. and for that we will hold the alt or option key and bring the cursor in between the layers and when the cursor changes like this just click now we will select both the layers by holding the shift key and press control or command g to group them together and rename the group as subject and then we will bring in a texture image of paper i got this from texturelab.com which is my go to website when it comes to textures we'll get a variety of textures there they are all free and you can use them both personally and commercially i'll rotate it 90 degrees and resize it to fit our canvas and place it below the subject group i want to add a subtle glow around our subject and for that we will add a new blank layer just above the texture layer and take the brush tool we can select the color of the brush from here but since we already have the white color as our background color here we'll simply press the x key to make it the foreground color and then select the soft round brush and keep the flow at 30% we'll paint like this to add the glow let's rename the layer as glow now we'll add the same texture at the back on our subject to do that we will select the texture layer and hold the alt or option key and click and drag it will make a duplicate copy of the texture and we will place it above the subject 
and then change the blend mode of this texture layer to multiply. It's too dark so we'll bring down the opacity and set it to around 25%. The texture layer at the top is affecting the layer below it and I don't want that. What can we do then? Yes, you are right. We can simply clip the texture layer to the subject. But I'm not going to do that because I want a smooth faded effect and for that we have to add a layer mask to the texture copy layer and take the brush tool again make sure the foreground color is black our brush is already soft round brush and now we'll paint on the outer side like this to hide it behind the mask can you see the difference I'll resize the subject a little and then move on to the next step of creating the newspaper art for that we're gonna need some newspaper images and where can we get them the same place where I got it from. The website is pngact.com where you can get loads and loads of PNG images in almost every category. And the best part, they are all free and you can use them in your personal as well as commercial projects. I'm going to use three such images and I'll put the download links of all of them in the description. Let's bring in the first one and now we'll change its blend mode to multiply. We'll resize and position it as power need. Which brings me to my need and my need is your love and support. Please show your support by liking the video and comments down below to express your love. These are the only two things which keeps me motivated and if you haven't subscribed yet then please subscribe to the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. Now coming back we'll rename this layer as one and then add a layer mask to this layer and again take the brush tool select the soft round brush adjust the brush size change the foreground color to black flow of the brush should be 100 and create a mask like this we'll reveal the newspaper at some places I will keep it like this and now add the second image. I will rotate it 90 degrees and place it like this. We have to change the blend mode to multiply. You can try out other blend modes if you want. We will rename it as 2 and carry out the same masking process as we did earlier. And now we bring in the third image and repeat the same process. If you want you can change the opacity of these images. I'm done and now we will select these three newspaper image layers and group them together and rename the group as newspaper. If you want you can stop here but I will take it a little further. I will add another new layer and then take the line tool. Fill color will be black and strokes will be none and I will draw some random lines like this. If you are wondering how am I making these perfect straight horizontal and vertical lines then you have to hold the shift key while drawing the line and it will be a perfect straight like this. I will again add a layer mask to this layer and do the layer masking to make the line edges softer like this. I will also bring down the opacity of the lines a little. We are gonna add some more elements and for that I have downloaded this hexagonal pattern image from pngwing.com. I will place it here and now I will make two more copies of it. How? Keeping the layer selected you have to hold the order option key and click and drag and place it wherever we want. Do the same to create another copy. Now we will select all these three layers and press controller command E to merge them together into a same layer. We then add a layer mask to it and mask out some of the parts like this.
I will rename this layer as hexagon and move on to the next step. I am going to enhance the shadows a little more and for that I will add a new layer and this time take the brush tool again, foreground color will be black. We already have the soft round brush, we will set the flow to 50% and adjust the brush size and paint over these areas. 50% is too much, we will press Ctrl or Command Z to undo and set the flow to 30% and now paint. Did you notice the difference? I'll bring down the opacity a little and now it's looking good. Let's rename the layer as shadows. Let's take it a little further. We're gonna select the newspaper group and double click here on the blank space to open the layer style dialog box and now adjust these blend if sliders to make it look more smooth. First we will grab this top white handle on the right. Hold the Alt or Option key and click on the handle to split it and then drag the left half towards left. Keep it right here and then grab the black handle on the left and split it and bring it towards the right and now you see the change. I don't think the white handle is having any effect so I will keep it where it was and now grab the white handle of the bottom slider and do the same as we did earlier. Yes, this is working. And now we'll adjust it as we want. When you are satisfied, hit OK. Let's change the opacity of the subject layer a little. Yeah, I think this looks good now. This part is looking odd. Let's take care of that. Now it's okay, but the background seems a little dark to me. To correct it, I will add a solid color adjustment layer, make it white and place it below the background layer and then bring down the opacity of the background layer. We will then select all the layers apart from the background layers and make them little bigger and position it at the center of the canvas. Now we will do the text part and I am going to keep it simple. For that we have to activate the text tool and click anywhere on the canvas to add the text and then edit it. Make the text bigger. I'm going to use a font called Merit. Download link is given in the description in case you want to use the same. Change its color to a shade of red. Rotate it 90 degrees like this. Place it here on the right. And then change the blend mode to multiply. I will blend it with the help of the blend if sliders and do some more tweakings. And lastly add the final piece of text. Place it here. And our poster is complete. I hope you enjoyed the process and like the poster as well. I keep on designing and sharing posters and try to show you something new every time. Just as I did in my last video which was about. No, I am not going to tell you. You have to click here and see for yourself.